Hey guys, Jeremiah here with Loan Depot. So I just wanted to make a quick little video to talk to you about foreclosures. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about foreclosures. So I figured I'd just make a quick video and address some of those. First question I get is, can I finance a foreclosure? The answer to that is yes. Yes, you can. But it also depends. <laughs> so if you're looking to um, purchase a foreclosure at an auction, no, no, you can't. You can't finance that. Um, every auction I've seen, you have to have that money up front. Okay. That means you gotta have the cash up front to buy it. Because uh, when, when you bid on the house and you're the winning bidder, they're gonna demand payment right after, okay? So, um, and, and one thing banks won't do is they won't go, they won't take you through the loan process and they won't give you any money, <laughs> they won't give you any money to go buy an auction, uh, an auction house, right? It's just too risky. What, what is that? What's the condition of the house? They have no idea, so they're not gonna lend on that. That's just not how it goes, all right? But if you find a foreclosure that is not in auction, by all means, let's finance that baby and get it in yours. Get it in your name. Okay, that leads us to our next question. What is the condition of that house? Is it in a livable condition? If the answer to that is yes, fantastic. Awesome. We can finance that all day long, and that's just a normal loan process. Nothing special, right? But let's say it's not livable condition. Then what? Well, the answer to that is yes, you can still finance it. So that's good news, right? How does that work? How can you finance something that's not in livable condition, Jeremiah? Well, we have a renovation loan, folks. We have a renovation loan. It just so happens I'm also the number one renovation guy for Loan Depot in all of Oregon. Um, so I'd love to help you with that. Um, how does renovation loan work? It's simple, you guys. You get a loan uh, to purchase the house and also they're gonna finance in the renovation costs, okay? So if it's gonna say, take maybe 50,000 to renovation the loan, or to reno renovate the house, get it up to livable condition, fantastic. We can put that into the loan with the purchase price of the house, and uh, as long as everything computes and calculates correctly, yeah, you'll get approved for that, no, no problem. So um, also, even if you're just looking to buy a fixer upper, hit me up for that renovation loan, I'd love to help you with that, piece of cake. All right. Third question, are we going to see a huge foreclosure increase? Is there going to be a foreclosure market in our future? My answer to that is no. I am not seeing it. For me being in the industry, uh, seeing the stuff I see, I'm not seeing that we're going to have a big foreclosure market. Are we going to have some foreclosures? Yes, absolutely we are. Is there going to be a big market for it? I don't think so, you guys. I don't think so. Okay. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, but uh, I'm just going off the data that I read every day uh, just from being in, in this industry. All right, so uh, now let's talk about that. Why? Why, why are people thinking there's going to be a huge foreclosure market? Well, that's because of the pandemic the banks offered forbearance. Okay, Actually, the banks didn't offer it. Our politicians offered it and demanded that the banks follow suit. But they work hand in hand, so they did. Um, but yeah, so people who are in forbearance, there's, uh, there's actually two different options that we're seeing. The first option is forbearance, and that's where people were allowed to miss up to three payments typically, and then they had to make up those three payments to get themselves current. So for those people that are in that option, those are the folks that I believe uh, have more likelihood of going into foreclosure than anybody else. Um, the good news is, I haven't seen a single one of those mortgages. All the mortgages I'm seeing are in deferment, okay? That's it, they're in deferment. So what is that? That's a new word, new, new term. Deferment means all those missed payments, instead of having to make them up in order to get current, you are current, you miss those payments, bam, you start paying, paying again, you are now current, and those missed payments go to the end of the loan. They just get tacked on to the end, no big deal. So that's not gonna hurt anybody, you guys. Instead of a 30-year loan, you have a 30-year and three-month loan, so no big deal, no big deal at all. So that's fantastic news right there. Okay, um, now I have some stats I wanted to give you guys, okay? So homes that are 30 days past due, uh, and this is as of today, 
Um, homes that are 30 days past due dropped from 4.9% to 4.7% since last quarter. Okay. But let's look at the 90 day mark because that's a better indicator of foreclosures. So homes that are 90 days past due dropped from three and a half percent to 3.3%. And of all the homes, um, of all the homes nationwide that are in foreclosure, only 0.3% of the homes are in foreclosure. Now, is that number going to increase in the future? Yes, I think it's going to increase, but I don't think it's going to be that much, okay? So that's good news because I don't want nobody to lose their house. And bad news if you're looking to buy a cheap house, but I don't want anybody to lose a house, so that's good news. Um, okay, that's it. I hope that answered your questions about foreclosures. If you have any other questions, please put them in the comments or reach out to me directly. I am here to help. All right, you guys, talk to you later. Have a great day.